Okay, I'm going to do the problem slightly differently. And the first term looks fine to me. I'm going to factor it for you. And that would be y minus z. The bottom is a difference of perfect squares. So it's going to be x minus y. Uh, I'm sorry, x um, minus the uh, y minus c. So it's going to be minus y plus c. Sorry about that. And then it's going to be x plus y minus z. All right? So let me see if I did that right. y minus z, x minus y plus z, x plus y minus z. There's something strange about the second term, though. And it's, it's uh, although the top is in alphabetical order, the bottom's not. All right? So I, I'm going to do something that, it, rather strange looking, but I have to do it. I don't have to do it, but I want to do it. x minus z. And I'm going to write this as, I'm going to factor out a minus 1 in that. That would become plus. And then you would get, let's see, z minus x squared minus y squared. All right? Now, by the way, I want to point out that z minus x squared is the same thing as x minus z squared. So I want to rewrite that. Again, the reason I want alphabetical order. So that's going to be x minus z squared. Now, I, I realize people say, why are you doing that? Just, just to see what I come up with. So I'm going to factor that. Oh, you know what? i got to factor the bottom now. I forgot to do that. So let's write this down. y minus z, x minus y plus z, x plus y minus z plus x minus z. And then you get what here? You get x minus z plus y times x minus z minus y. All right? So I'm kind of looking at it now, and I'm wondering what to do. I mean, I could get a common denominator at this point. But before I do that, I'm going to do something that might seem a little strange. But what I do notice, I notice I got a factor here. You know what? I didn't write the other one in order. Let me do that. Sorry about that. I got to write the other one in the same order. And I should have done that from the get-go. So in the same order, this should be x plus y minus z. And this should be x minus y minus z. I'm going to get my eraser out. I'm going to erase this. And again, I want to put it in alphabetical order because it's easier to see a pattern that way. Not for everyone, by the way. Okay, let me get my eraser out. I'll erase this business over here. And I'm going to look at the two uh, terms now and see what they have in common. And do they have something in common? Yeah, they got this in common. All right. Now, I'm going to pull it out. And let me write that down for you. So what would you get? 1, x plus y minus z times. Well, you can get y minus z now over x minus y plus z. What do you get over here? Plus x minus z over x minus y minus z. All right? All right, so where are we going to go with that? I guess i got to do some work over here, don't I? So I'm going to write this down now as, I'll write it over here, 1 over x plus y minus z times... I'm going to do this business here. And what do you get? I should write it down, shouldn't I? x minus y plus z. x minus y minus z. I got some work to do, don't I? I got this times this. And this times this. Let's write that down. What are you going to get? x, y minus y squared 
minus yz. Be very careful here. I just did the y. So it's xy minus y squared minus yz. Let's do the next one. So it's going to be minus xz. It's going to be busy, though, isn't it? Uh, plus yz. And then you're going to get plus c squared. All right, that's the first one. Let's do the next one. And uh, next one's going to be x squared minus xy plus xz. Then minus z, so minus zx or minus xz uh, plus yz. It's a lot of work, though. Uh, let's see, minus z squared. All right, I'll get my red pen out. i got to combine all those terms together now. It's a lot of work. So this disappears. That's good news. All right. Uh, these disappear. By the way, they already disappeared over there. So let's see what else you get. Well, let's see what you get there. Well, a lot of terms left, aren't there? So, you know, I get x squared minus y squared. Oh, these disappear. That's good news. And let's see, yz, well, let's write this down. So what do you get? x squared minus y squared. And then you're going to get the uh, minus xz plus yz. Well, i got to keep moving, don't I? We're not there yet. This is 1 over x plus y minus z. This is x minus y plus z. And this is x minus y minus z. And on top, what do you get? Let's write this down. You're going to get x minus y, x plus y minus I'm going to factor a z out. You're going to get what? x minus y. Wow, i got to keep going. What do you get next? x minus y. Then you're going to get x plus y minus z. That's a top factorization. The bottom still the same. And let's see if there's a factor in top and bottom that's identical. And I see an x plus y minus z, and I see one here. So what's remaining? x minus y, x minus y plus z, x minus y minus z. Everything is working out as advertised. Thank you.